Hey, good morning and welcome back to Nurses Speak. This is Tonya of Nurses Speak, the channel where nurses' voices are heard loud and clear, where no topic is off limits. I would invite you now to subscribe, share, and like the videos you see on Nurses Speak because this is the channel for nurses where you can talk about anything. So being that it's February and um, we are in the month designated as Black History Month in the United States. And although I celebrate Black History all year round because there are many, many, many of our Black brothers and sisters making history every day, bringing greater light into the world, sharing their gifts and talents and contributions in service of all of us. So I just wanna thank them for everything they do. And I just wanna thank our nurses out there who continuously give of themselves to serve our public with the highest respect and dignity. Thank you so much. But at this time, I would just like to pause to give recognition to some of our Black historical nursing figures. And a couple of them you may know already by name for their work during slavery and as abolitionists. But there's also one I'd like to mention. <clears throat> That was the first black registered nurse in the United States. Her name is Mary Eliza Mahoney. And Mary Eliza was the first, as I said, black registered nurse in the United States. In 1879, she graduated from a nursing program that required 16 hours of work, seven days a week. Kind of almost sounds like what we're doing with COVID right now. So this is not something new. In any event, it's really a testament to her commitment and sacrifice because it stayed, stated that this program started with 40 students and ended up graduating only three, one of which was her, Mary Eliza Mahoney. After that, she went on to help establish the National Association of Colored Graduate Nurses. And in recognition of her amazing achievements in education and advancement of nurses at the time, the American Nurses Association created the Mary Mahoney Award. And this is one of the highest awards that a nurse can receive still today. Two other people I want to mention also, whose names I said you would be familiar with, are Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman. Yes, I said it. Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman were both nurses, okay? These women were slaves in America, but they served their people as nurses. Sojourner Truth worked as a nurse while being a slave. And once she was a free woman, she also continued with nursing. And she also went on to speak before Congress representing the National Freedmen's Relief Association in Washington, D.C. and advocated for nursing education and formal training programs. Now, Harriet Tubman, if she wasn't busy enough with the Underground Railroad and in her well-known work as a slave abolitionist, she also served her people as a nurse. It was discovered that she had an extensive experience and knowledge working with natural herbs and remedies and of course, as you know, this is perhaps the only thing that Black people at the time would have had access to 
in terms of helping to heal their ailments. She also treated many soldiers that were injured and suffering during the Civil War. And she continued after the war ended to care for others and eventually helped to start a home for the elderly. So those are just a few people that I just wanted to mention to give honor and thanks to at this time for their footprint in history where we can recognize that there have been significant contributions by nurses to people, particularly people of color, many hundreds of years ago. And still to this day, we serve with dignity, integrity, and respect. And with that which we give, we expect in return as well. So although there's a lot of talk going on right now and it seems really politically correct to call nurses heroes in light of the pandemic, I'm here to tell you, nurses have always been heroes. We have always come in with helping hands and open hearts to serve and to give and to uplift humanity no matter where we are, no matter what background we have, no matter what race, religion, creed, orientation, nationality, or ethnicity, or size, or shape, or color, we serve. We serve. So to my forever heroes, to all my nurses out there, RNs, LPNs, CNAs, advanced practice nurses, title doesn't matter, degree doesn't matter. What matters is the condition of the heart, the mindset that allows you to get up a yet another day and freely give of yourself despite its challenges. And while we're working on clearing up many, many things that need to be cleared up and addressed within nursing, just know this, that collectively there is strength in numbers and that our voices will only get louder and louder until we are heard. We won't give up, we won't stop. And I'm gonna post a link to this article for those of you who might be interested in reading more about our Black history nursing figures. And it's from nurse.org, which is a wonderful organization, again, promoting education and advancement for nurses. It's currently led by a Black nurse, advanced practice nurse, in fact. And so I will put that link to this video so you can look more into what nurse.org is about, and as well as, you know, take advantage of the opportunity to look back in time, look at the history, look at the trailblazers, those that came before us and paved the way and led the way for us so we could have what we have and be where we are today. Thank you. Thank you to our ancestors. And thank you to those who currently serve. Everything you do is greatly appreciated. With thanksgiving and love. Until next time, this is Tonya at Nurses Speak. Like, subscribe, and share. This channel is for you.